earthquake alert in Iceland. We know that it's on the mid-Atlantic trench and we've had tremendous earthquakes there lately. Iceland, they say, is now threatened by volcanic eruption because they have had thousands of earthquakes recorded there lately. And it's in uh, the area, we know that Iceland has a mantle plume underneath. It's a hotspot just like Hawaii is. The authorities have now revealed that Iceland has been hit with quakes in their thousands, and they believe it faces the prospect of volcanic eruptions. And we're going to look at uh, the, I don't know, I, I guess there's about 100 volcanoes on uh, Iceland. And uh, one of them that is, well, two of them that are active are Grimsvot and uh, Reykjanes. Reykjanes is on the south side, but we'll look at that on Volcano Discovery later. But what's happening there now? It's active. We've seen, um, and we, we made videos recently concerning the number of earthquakes along the mid-Atlantic trench. The ridge that is spreading, it's an area of the earth, one of the areas that is spreading and opening. There's magma underneath. The Grimsvold volcano witnessed increasing seismicity in the past month, and uh, Iceland's most active volcano could erupt soon, according to the experts. Iceland's meteorological service, IMO, announced Monday that 3,000 tremors took place on the northern coast of the country, where the capital of Reykjavik recorded the largest warning. Uh, with one of the three quakes which measured over five magnitude, and we're going to take a look at that again on the map because we have to see what's going on there. Um, we even had one north of uh, Iceland, but there's a quake swarm going on there. We'll take a, we'll take a look at that. Now, the quake's epicenter is situated uh, in a short distance from a small village of 1,200 people, and several dozen kilometers from Akureyri, the second largest city in Iceland. Akureyri based a population of uh, nearly 20,000. The whole population of the whole of Iceland is about only 260,000 people, most of them along the coastlines of the south and the west of Iceland. Now, the government instituted uh, suggestions that at this stage, the recordings were nothing to be worried about. They said, compared to previous earthquake swarms in the area, it's expected that this swarm will continue during the coming days. They say, but in most cases, uh, the activity it will end without a larger event. An authority explained that no major issue or damage was caused from these tremors, but locals have observed some landslides and rock falls in the area. Authorities put the Icelandic public on notice in earlier this month and revealing that the Grimsvold volcano, the country's most active volcano, could erupt soon. Scientists came to this conclusion after recording the high levels of volcanic gases, the sulfur dioxide, and that suggests the presence of so-called shallow magma. The Grimsvold, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, the Grimsvold VOTN volcano last erupted in 2011 after the Ajak Fokul, that's funny sounding name, erupted in uh, 2010 that spread its ash all over northern Europe. Now, the erupting force of temporary closure of Reykjavik's Keflavik airport had meant that more than 800 flights were canceled because of the ash clouds. Now, the IMO attributed the risk during an eruption to flooding from melting ice. Uh, the, uh, they said the possibility of an erupting Eruption triggered by a glacial flood, which could occur in the coming weeks or months, has to be considered. Another eruption that occurred in 2010, as we said, the Aja Jala Jokul, um, darkened the skies with a huge ash cloud covering most of northern Europe. The sea of smoke and ash means more than 100 flights uh, were cancelled at that time. The event also left 8 million passengers stranded. Now, scientists estimate that if an eruption would occur in the Grimsvold volcano, the volcano would not cause similar damage as the Aja Fjala Jokul of 2010. Iceland, as we know, is on the boundary of North America plate with the Eurasian plate. It's on the mid-Atlantic ridge running through the middle of the Atlantic. And uh, uh, it's a series of uh, tectonic movement, as we know. But let's go and take a look at the maps themselves.
Here we are at uh, the size of Berkeley. This is Iceland, as we see. And this is the quake swarm, the six that we had before. Um, okay, this one here, only six people reported, doesn't matter. The thing is that it shook the whole island. And we did a video on this before. Um, there we go. And we'll put in the, the uh, let's put in the tectonics. You can see that it's right on the mid-Atlantic trench. There it is, that red line that you see right there. Also, obviously, if you extrapolate the, uh, because USGS stops the block right there, if you extrapolate this whole um, line of um, shake, shaking lines, you'll see that the whole island, of course, was shaken, if not even parts of Greenland. I don't even know if maybe Scandinavia or even uh, Scotland felt it, but this is it. It's right there. And um, this is our volcanoes of Iceland. The, you count them yourself. There must be like at least 70 volcanoes there. But let's go to um, Reykjavik volcano. That's on the south. That is a dormant one out of five that was erupting uh, previously, like a little while ago. Uh, Reykjavik volcano, Iceland, southwest Iceland, where the mid-Atlantic ridge merges, emerges into the land, forming a vast area with many eruptive fissures, lava fields, hot springs, mud pools, you name it. It's, um, it's like a, a real live Yellowstone, the whole island, okay? That's Reykjanes, and if we go to the, this one here, the Grimsvold that we're talking about, um, it's uh, Restless 2 out of 5. Grimsvold is Iceland's most frequently active volcano, probably because it's located on the center of the active northeast rift zone of Iceland. We're talking about the mid-Atlantic rift, it's a, a ridge. Most of the volcano is hidden beneath the giant glacier of Vatna Jokul, Europe's biggest, gla largest glacier. Grimsvold volcano has a three by a six by eight kilometer large caldera whose southern rim is exposed. The caldera contains a lake of liquid water due to the thermal energy from the volcano. The lake is covered by the ice of the glacier but during eruptions or times of increasing or of hydrothermal activity from the volcano, the amount of meltwater and the pressure of the lake against the ice above becomes strong enough to lift the ice dam and pour out at the south side of the glacier in devastating floods known as Jokul Laps. During eruptions, the overlying part of the glacier is often melted through creating a giant hole in the ice permitting break, th breathtaking views from above into the lake from where ash and steam can escape. Fissures and the Lackey fissure eruption. Okay, this is talking about the background of the volcano. Fissures corresponding to the rift zone. Eruptions from the, uh, these fissures can occur well beyond the extent of the glacier, such as the huge eruption of 1783, known as the Lackey fissure eruption. It's the largest known effusive eruption that's occurred on Earth during the past thousand years, thousands of years, about 15 cubic kilometers of basaltic lava flow were erupted from the fissure in over seven months. So that's the background of that. Um, now this is the uh, the latest of it, June 17. It's a, one of the pictures of it. They're examining here the gases. We said that before that they had the sulfuric gas, and that's what is telling them that. The magma is very super, uh, is very close to the surface. And again here, one of Iceland's most uh, active volcanoes. There it is, that's the situation. Getting ready for a new eruption. Recent observations by scientists from Icelandic Met Office, IMO. Monitoring the subglacial volcano lead to this conclusion. In the last week, several measurements were done at Grimsvot volcano and they discovered a currently very high output of SO2 gas in the southwest corner of the caldera. Grimm's vault is very close to the eruption sites of 2004 and 11, a clearly alarming finding. They said this is the first time that we measured so much SO2 at the volcano in Iceland that is not in an eruptive phase and its presence is indicative of magma at shallow levels, said volcanologist Melissa Ann Pfeffer from IMO, who was among the specialists during the recent measurements in the area where geothermal activity of the volcano can be detected on the surface, this also has 
notably increased. Sulfur dioxide is one of the principal volcanic gases contained in solution in the magma at depth, but released when early when magma reaches shallow depths and pressure drops. It can be regarded as one of the most common precursors when volcanoes erupt. Earthquake activity under the volcano has been slightly elevated at the volcano for a while, along with an inflation of the ground surface. All this, these data likely reflect the gradual rise and refilling of magma into the volcano's shallow reservoirs. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.